Oh no! Thanks, my dude. I did not know that. No one wants to see... No one wants to see my face. The entire time. Thank you so much. I'm uh, still a relatively new streamer, and... That happens way more often than I'd like to admit. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Citrus. But, uh... Awesome. So... Th <sighs> See, I really have gotta get used to using the preview window that's, like, right here. So I should be looking at the game, looking at you guys, and looking at the preview right there. But it, this is actually really... Not the weirdest Bizarro world that I've ever experienced, but we were able to early on, like it was an alliance between uh, Castile, Aragon, Great Britain, and Austria, we were able to balkanize the French. <laughs> so you have a independent Champagne. You have British France, which includes Paris. And uh, I was already blanking on what this area, is this Gascony down here or is that Gascony up here? I always forget. Um, and, uh, Brittany became really, really big. They had, like, all of this, but some French rebels broke off. But, yeah, Bourbon A is a thing. Um, Austria got the Burgundian inheritance, which was kind of cool uh, and really helped me out. They also got the, um, they also got the Hungary relatively early. Um, and I've been playing as Castile, and, uh, What's really been sucking is that I can't get my legitimacy up to 100 to, to unite uh, Castile and Aragon the easy way. Um, and it's been really killer. And I can't can't get... I keep on getting excommunicated, so I can't get the, uh, the papacy, uh, like, spend those points to get the legitimacy bonus. So it, it's kind of sucked, but uh, I'm doing pretty okay. Um... I was able to take Portugal relatively early. Um, I took southern France. I'm getting into Naples. Um, I'm pretty much the only colonial power. I'm trying to keep it a little... Can you pay military points for legitimacy? Man, no way. Which, uh, which tab is it in? No way. Is it like under the nobility tab? Oh, I just for this game strength and government. Strength and government. No way. The uh expand administration. Is that click your flag. Clicked. See, that's what I love about this game, is that there's, like, so much to it that, like, crown tab, I think. There is just so much to it that I just don't, that even if someone spent, I think I've spent, like, a thousand hours in this game, I, I haven't found everything yet. There's just so much to it. Or I'm just really bad at one of the two. Oh, uh, let's see. Got that. So government. Uh, it's the government reforms, promoted cultures, maybe diplomacy. I, I never even think about the estates. Um, estates is usually just military, but let's see if there's like a legitimacy that it helps out. Power, primacy, nobility, nobility, land rights. Nah. Let's take a look at this again. I just... Huh. 
Now it's like, man, maybe I should really pay more attention to, <laughs> to all of these areas. So stability and expansion, let's just boost that for the heck of it. Um, yeah, show subject revolts, I'm okay with that. Governing capacity, so currently using 480, 825. So we're good on there. Religion, we're we're good. We're not in like a disaster yet. Military subjects, everyone's groovy. Oh, you can release your colonial subjects. The more you know. Um, and then let's just see what the burger land right there. All this stuff does. Cause I always forget about this. Cause. It is so hard to keep everything straight. Okay, let's see. Like, settler chant. Like, I should probably do that. Global tariffs is negative 10%, but it increases settler chance. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Tolerance of heretics. Clergy doesn't like me. exactly exactly like and what doesn't help citrus like is there have you ever played their tutorial their tutorial is like yeah this is how you like put soldiers on boats okay good luck <laughs> oh. let's see so uh what i'm uh moving to do now is actually finish off Portugal um, because seriously fuck those guys um, I actually just want to take their colony you know what do I even want this piece of Africa uh, they've got slaves uh, the trade power is pretty high yeah I'll take it so I'll build a spy network there so then I can take their colonies but then I can vacillate them which is Always a noise. Actually, let's let's. So yeah, the new world is pretty much all what I you know is all Castilian. Like I've got Brazil, I've got the uh, the Plata. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly it. Five hundred hours spending uh, playing as the Ottomans. It's the government tab, second one from the left. Okay. Government tab. Country modifiers. Promoted cultures. Wait, do you have... Oh, no, I don't. No, I'm on, uh... I'm, like, completely vanilla. Sorry, I should have probably, uh, called that out. Like, I haven't gotten any DLC for this, uh, game yet. Which is crazy that I'm, like, a thousand hours in. And still haven't gotten the DLC. Um, which... Right? <laughs> uh... Because there's a lot of cool stuff, like, um... Like, there's the one with, like, um, what actually makes, yeah, let's just lose prestige. I've got, like, what, plus 47, and then I've got all these colonies popping. Um, like, the one with Russia, like, actually makes orthodoxy useful, I was hearing. Yeah, yeah, did you guys see, or, I mean, you had to have seen, because they were advertising all over the place. Like, oh, don't buy the DLC, just rent our game, essentially. I like you guys. I like what you got going on, but uh, <laughs> I, I I guess that I don't know. I can't justify subscribing to EU for like I don't know. That just seems a little silly to me. But then again, it's like a thousand dollars worth of DLC. So if I actually want everything, that. That's actually a really smart point. Just like see what I've been missing. 
and be like, oh, wow, there's a lot more. So th this is at a point where I, I always have difficulty deciding. Do you like with the I'm like finally making OK money. I'm, you know, 26 a turn. I actually don't have this advisor st stacked in right now. So <laughs> that takes care of that. Uh, so I got plus three advisors right there. But so I'm making good money. And my return on investment is pretty low on a lot of these buildings. Do I just like stockpile money to get like the next institution up? Uh, or do I just continue spending the money getting low return on investment buildings? Like, <laughs> that's funny. I say low, low return on investment and I have like a 0.27 and 0.24 gold uh, ducats or whatever the actual things are called. What is it? Whatever it is. Um, so yeah, maybe I should pay attention. But anyways, I always get to a point of like, what do, I get all this ridiculous amount of money and it's like, what do you do with it? It, it? it kind of becomes meaningless at a point and it's like, do I just keep a small army and then when it's time to invade someone, just create a mercenary like invasion force? Okay. Okay, Hollinette. That's actually that give less than 0 0.1 80 years. Others don't build them unless they're above 0 0.2. Okay, sweet. I've been accidentally doing it the right way then. That makes me feel a lot better cuz yeah, I've always like see those like, oh, it's 0. Point, you know, 0 0.09. I'm like, well, that's not even a tenth of, you know, 10% of the ducat, so whatever. Um, so cool. And then the other ones, like, like, example, like, okay, manufacturing, you know, this costs 400 gold. You don't want to spend it to only get a return of 0.24. That's going to take forever, right? So just kind of forget it. So I'm just finishing off. You can spam all the man manufacturers. Let's see. Wait. Now that I'm actually playing with, got some people helping me out here. <laughs> so the local goods produced are plus one. So it's just overall, does it just like increase the tax revenue also of the areas? And like the actual gold here isn't all you're getting in return like it's a much higher let's see sweet i have no diplomats to send oh that's embarrassing where are all my diplomats oh oh yeah i have one diplomat over here because i was going to do a native war really quick but that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'll just wait until I get the uh, imperialism bailist uh, calls. But I, oh, jeez. Sorry, it's been a long day, guys. Uh, cases belli. So we should have a guy. Sweet. Declare war. Sweet. That guy's attached. Huh. Okay. Soldier houses. Extra. See, things that I... Soldier houses. Do I have those yet? Those are... Here they are. Soldier's household. Manpower. Nice. Will become more effective on prof provinces with food and booze. I love it. <laughs> uh, grain, fish, livestock, or wine. Plus 750 manpower. That's hot. Okay, let's let's finish let's finish these poor guys off. Oh, I should have allowed that because they're at war with Morocco. And so, 
uh, I think I said it earlier on the stream when, when you know, you guys weren't here. Uh, <laughs> kind of my low, like, when I started this, I wanted to be have, like, a super just, like, chill, conservative colonial game. And it became anything but that with the freaking balkanization of France where Great Britain just has a huge chunk of France. You got an independent Brittany still, uh, independent Champagne, independent uh, Bur uh, Bourbonnet. Um, let's see, Picardy's a thing. Uh, Provence, oh, they, they came back out of nowhere. Uh, Austria inherited Burgundy and also Hungary. They haven't yeah, they haven't done the uh, the Bohemia uh, yet. So, what started out as a uh, chill colonial game has become a screw it. I'm going to try and take the Western Mediterranean and Western Africa. It can be as much as a few thousand with the buffs from my ideas. Nice. That's huge. That is is huge a few thousand extra soldiers especially later on when you like you're swimming in gold and especially when you're playing as freaking Castile swimming in gold yeah I'm gonna accept that they can go with there's a uh, West Africa war going on let's see who's Morocco at war with they're at war with uh, what is that Zazao, Mali, Dahani and uh, that and Kano. Um, that's how in multiplayer you get. Jeez. Multiplayer has to be insane. I have not been brave yet enough yet because I'm just a hack, obviously, <laughs> to play multiplayer. Um, that there's. Oh, sweet. Oh, fucking. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, I have like. Okay, I'll have to wrap this arm up, or, or uh, war up. Catalina, hey, she's the heir, cool. Um, they've got like 60,000, I think it was. Um, 60,000 boys in Toledo, 50,000. Uh, that sucks. Castilian noble rebels, oh, they still exist? Oh, fuck that. Okay. So I gotta clean this war up. So, one of the funnier things that I've been trying to do is inherit this piece of uh, the Balkans, because uh, I think it's funny. And to kind of deny that to Austria, because uh, I've got this really, really nice situation going on over here where I can, in the future, probably use Austria and I believe the Commonwealth's my ally. Yeah, Austria and the Commonwealth to do some wars. Yeah, yeah, let's... Let's flip that map mode. Let's see. Political. Diplomatic. So. Yeah, this doesn't really help me now, does it? No, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so you got Castile. I'm allied with Brittany. Champagne, uh, and I allied with Champagne to, as France was getting balkanized, I wanted to keep Britain from just taking as much as they wanted. So I, I allied with Champagne, who gobbled up some of the other, uh, a lot of the parts of France that were falling and kind of denied it to the British. Uh, I haven't been able to convince the Austrians to go to war with Great Britain yet, and Great Britain is allied with the Ottomans and still early in, you know, enough where I, I don't got the Ottomans and the British all at once. So yeah, I kind of, kind of a weird alliance system going on because Brittany, Champagne, uh, Austria, Herzegovina, again, to deny the Austrians this area and the Commonwealth. I mean, I really don't have any folks that are straight up hostile to me. Um, and I am over one on my diplomatic power. 
which I guess I could probably start letting Brittany go at this point because there's no France anymore. And oh no, the British get Brittany. That's, I mean, that solidifies, this is the Bordeaux trade, trade note, I believe. Yeah, that's Bordeaux. But, oops, here we go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just finish this war up really quick and then try to get, you know what, fuck it, yeah. Brittany, shove off. I think they're actually allies with the British, too, to tell you the truth. Bourbon, oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe Britain will take that, but you know what? Now I'm not over overtaxed anymore. See, I always have a problem with this one too. Like, is it okay to be have a ton of loans? Like, as long as the interest rate is okay. Like, I'd rather spend the money and keep a oh, Toledo. Lost that. Um, like, keep my stability at a plus two because if it goes you know i'd have to spend more money to put it to a plus two again or more administrative power to bring it back to a plus two like i should just spend the money right like makes sense to me um, let's see i'm not gonna be vain i'm not gonna be vain I'm not going to put New Spain in here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep it as New Castile to remind me of my failures. Um, fuck. Okay. That's okay. So, so yeah, I kind of went on a weird tangent. What I'm trying to do in this game now is to kind of create a... Mediterranean coastline empire of just being like, I own everything from Gibraltar all you know the entire loop through rome all of this and just all that tunisia who cares i'm not I'm, I, I don't want that and because i've never done it i also want to take all of west africa because i think that would be that would look cool for the end game um so like colonial nations i've got Florida, I've got New Andalusia, which is Canada. Oh, and I've got a colonist that I've never dropped off. That's no good. Probably should drop him off somewhere. Right there, why not? Um... Sorry, it's been a long day, so I'm kind of slowing down. Uh, got the West Indies, got New Granada, got Brazil, got La Plata, got West Africa, and I also got South Africa. Uh, so let's finish this war with these guys. Okay. Really? You're not... You're not gonna... Really? You don't want to be a vassal? You're gonna be that guy? Okay. Well, sweet. I got these two islands as well, which is really nice. Um, oh, everything's off my screen just a little bit. Let me hide my task bar. Let's see. Actually, let's see if I can just hit enter. Oop. Let's see if I can change because that, embarrassingly, might have to be the end of the stream. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Let's. How can I? Taskbar settings. Uh, put the taskbar on the left side of the screen. There we go. Oh, we went around the world while I was doing that, too. Thanks for the patience, guys. Um... 
So let's get peace going on. I'm going to grab those islands from them. Just so then I can maybe get Aust uh, Australia and stuff like that. So, so for peace. Oh, those were colonies to begin with. Fudge. Okay, so that... Oh, sweet. Am I... We're with Ferrara. Oh, yeah! The Ferrer Ferrara! The, uh, this little guy. Forgot all about you, my man. Let's annex that little tiny bit of, uh... Of Italy. Yeah. Forgot about that little tiny bit of Italy that I took. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Um. Let's see what I. Let's just try to win back some shit. Yeah. No, I'm annexing you right now. I'm not going to do a marriage alliance with you. I don't need it. Let's see. Oh, man. I'm losing money. Let's bring all those down. That was probably a bad idea with such a large rebellion going on, but entertaining right okay. great advisor died sweet I'm just gonna leave X I think I'm gonna need the money so this templates 10 infantry 4 cavalry 2 cannon I think that's actually a pretty bad mix so let's do 8 5 Let's call this uh, small. Small army. Because that's a small boy. Like, why is Aragon not helping with, with this shit? Like, they're loyal. Oh, well, whatever. So I'm going... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got that other army on the other side of the ocean. That's doing jack and shit. We need more peasants, because we need those bonuses. The new Castile's getting... Getting big. South Africa is getting thick. Yeah, I think what would really, like, we lost that siege, yeah, I know. I think what would really help me is if I had, like, an Elgato stream pad. Um, you know, just a small one. <laughs> for, for those buttons to make sure that, like, I hit that button to get it off of my face because half the stream so far has just been my face. Oh. Oh, let's see. What's the worst case that happens? If he become, I lose that dynasty stuff, but I don't think anyone else is really in my dynastic tree. Worst dynasty. Yeah, I mean, I'm the only dynasty. Uh, the trust, trust to Mario. So, whatever. As long as Aragon doesn't peace out. So, let's... Okay, integration, sweet. So 
see what time is it. 10.30. Okay, we'll... We'll do this really... Or finish this shenanigans, and then I think I'm going to call it a night. I really appreciate the help. Like... Oh, shit. Like, you have no idea. I have been... Struggling with this game. To, like get to that like next level of of adequacy so <laughs> of not being just completely terrible at it great they completely okay time to just it is such a hard game and like what would you do in this situation like i'm already losing a bunch of money like do i borrow a shit ton of money to defeat like I think I'm just like my hands are tied at this point. Like, they won. Like, I could borrow a ton of money and um, get a bunch of mercenaries that will have low mor uh, morale by the time they fight and probably not win. So, yeah, I think they won. Like, congratulations. Like, we'll see if Aragon pieces out or not. Um,. I always support the philosopher on this one because um, I already did all the missionary stuff that I need to, and I need that technology cost uh, not to suck. Um, so, university. So. Yeah, yeah, this game has been really weird. Really weird. Um, just how it, like, the early on game was just really weird. And, like, I got drug into a ton of uncharacteristic wars in France. And, like, the Burgundian succession kicked off a huge war and i was like oh i'll, I'll get i'll be heavily invested in these because i don't want a super strong great like a british france that will be um um just on my doorstep the entire game um so i invested way too heavily in in making all of this happen um and then making all you know this part of, uh doing the wars against morocco to get to to get um uh, this part of the Maghreb and yeah yeah it, I've become a, a, a slight disaster um, I think is more than fair enough to say um, yeah the economy is trash though like I'd, I'd want to make I did I did take a lot of money um Oh, there's Isabella. Um, they don't have repara reparations in the uh, the vanilla version, but uh, I just would take as much money out of them as possible. That's kind of I went to war against France on my own volition just for extra cash, and I took that money and I invested right into getting all the temples above point one zero, just as many of those as I could. Uh, and then I stockpiled my diplomacy uh, power, my diplomatic power. Uh, I stockpiled that, so then when I went into uh, uh, finally unlocked exploration, I could just spam ex the exploration idea and try get the colonists as early as possible. Uh, I think that might actually be the wrong way of doing things because then I become super far behind in diplomacy, uh, like that entire diplomatic technology tree, and that might actually be a big problem. Uh, and then let's see. My ideas that I have are exploration, expansion, and then like influence ideas might have been that's probably bad to take this early on because I didn't have that many vassals. I'm just like afraid of all of the colonial nations declaring independence during the um, the Age of Revolutions. I'm just terrified of that happening. 
so close. And it's negative again. Fuck. Discontent. Quant e econ or quantity. Nice. I will keep that in mind for the next one. Quantity is fun because just having a... Because, yeah, I mean, it's really easy to become a super large nation with Castile. And I only... I think my max right now, manpower? Yeah, 63,000. It should be 100,000. You know, it should be way more than that. I should just be able to just be just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Genoa. Genoa is now... Upset. Naples is going to be pissed off in a bit. And I'm not attached with Naples, so I'm going to send this here, but <sighs> and then when I see things like this happen where I'm like, okay, I'm 12 years ahead of this technology, I usually go then to uh, my development tab, uh, sort by the local manpower and just dump it. I mean, Is this somewhat a smart way of doing it, or um, is do I just completely... Am I just doing terrible investment in the uh, the development? Oh, they had a Peasants' War. That's terrific. Because in the vanilla version, you don't have that, like, all military power does is either... Uh, you know the technology, the development, or uh, uh, put puts down rebels. Where as some rebels, it's like, well, you know what? They're they're not that powerful. I'm kind of okay. Like I'm okay with these Genoa Genoese and uh, Nepal Nepal. Nepalese, I think. No, Nepalese is Nepal, Neapolitan uh, rebels because there's not that many of them. So, but but it is 10:40 my time or 10:37. But so I'm gonna peace out. I really, 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 really appreciate the help. And uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, try to keep your development concentrated in your states as territories. Also try to dev where you intend to invest so you want to maximize your investment. And I've just been doing it willy-nilly. I, So I'm going to take all of this citrus and try to keep dev. You have accepted culture. So gotcha. So don't develop in, say, North Africa where it's not an accepted culture. Keep it in Iberia and not in France. <laughs> keep it in Iberia. Uh, keep developing Iberia, ignore the Italians and the French unless they're accepted cultures. Um, now I'm going to take all of this, I'm probably going to rewatch this because I, I, I automatically save all of my uh, uh, clips. I'm actually going to probably edit where everyone was just looking at my face. But uh, <laughs> I really appreciate all the help. Um, and I'll probably restart uh, start a new game. Uh, even though th this one has been kind of fun. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, even though this one's been kind of fun, like with the, uh, uh, the balkanization of France, because I always love the balkanization of France. It's hilarious to me. Um, I kind of screwed up. So I, I want to, I'm going to start a new Spain game, uh, Castile game, and hopefully get, uh, early, uh, Iberian wedding, which is always baller. And how fun would it be to get the Burgundian succession? Because um, always getting Burgundy is fun, but it's kind of a double-edged sword because now you're invested in like main continental European affairs a little bit more. But anyways, uh, I I do have a, uh, a schedule up, Citrus. Uh, I do try to stream every Thursday from like... 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to like 10:30, 11 o'clock. Uh, today I got a little bit of, of a late start, uh, and I might uh, try to stream a little bit more in the future. But right now it's uh, just once a week. Uh, um, either, <laughs> funny enough, I do Fortnite uh, just because I'm really bad at, it and I think that's funny. Uh, EU4, and then I also do play uh, some Super Nintendo games. Uh, 
I was thinking about actually doing a uh, Secret of Mana playthrough. So, um, yeah, retro games are fun. Um, but thank you so much. Uh, you have a fantastic rest of your day or night or whatever it is. And uh, uh, hopefully you'll come back and uh, check me out and uh, give me some more game tips. Thank you so much and have a good night.